how to fix Fortnite fail to download supervised setting. If you're facing this issue with your PC, here are a couple of steps which you can try. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to go to your Fortnite directory, wherever your Fortnite game is installed, go to Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and you're gonna find the Fortnite application. You have to select the one which has the highest amount of size. As you can see, this is 470 megabytes. I'm just gonna right click and go to properties, go to compatibility, and you have to make sure that run this program as administrator is ticked and disable full screen optimization. This is unchecked. And after that, click on apply, click OK. Next step, we're just going to open our Epic Games launcher. And once the launcher loads, you have to go to the game which is installed. So I'm just going to click on Fortnite. This is the three dots which you have to click and click on options. From here, make sure that pre-download stream assets, high resolution textures, these two are untick. This is very important. Make sure these two are untick. Even if you have a very high end PC and your PC is capable of running the game in high resolution textures, but still make sure this is untick. After that, scroll down, make sure that that if you don't have any additional language selected you can try one of them selected and then you can play the game once then you sign out deselect the language and then play the game one more time see if the problem is fixed next step what you're going to do is in the search bar you have to type in run you have to type this particular command this percentage app data percentage click ok go to app data go to local find epic games launcher save web cache these are all the cache files which are not required by epic games launcher select everything and permanently delete it once you delete all these files and open Epic Games Launcher, it will be completely white. In that case, you just have to restart Epic Games Launcher. Then you try to play the game, sign into a game, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is, in the search bar, you have to type in background app. As you can see, my background apps are on. I'm not facing the problem over here. But if you don't require the background apps, you can customize it by selecting all those which you require. Like if I give an example, like I do need the NVIDIA control panel, so I've selected only that. I do need the snip and sketch, so I've selected only that. I do need the voice recorder. I do need all these things, which are other things which are selected. So whichever you need, you can select and deselect all of them. After that, over here only, you can go to the home section. In the home section, you have to go to gaming, click on graphics settings. And over here on the graphics performance preference, click on browse, select the Fortnite application, which is the highest amount of size, click on add. As you can see, my one is already added. Go to options and make sure you choose high performance to see whether your graphic card has been reflected over here. Once it has been chosen, click on save, reset a PC once and then try your game see if that helps next step what you have to do is if you face any kind of issues which is somewhat related to network I would recommend you to try to change your network for this what I would recommend you to turn on your mobile hotspot connect it to the PC which you're playing the game and then you try to sign in I'm pretty sure it's your problem is gonna be fixed after that once you're in the game you can connect back your ISP which has been provided so that you get the perfect ping and then you try your game see if that helps next step that you can try is if you're facing the issue in your pc i would recommend you to start the game or launch the game with the same account into some other devices the best thing you can do is to download the game on an android because the size will be comparatively lower and over there you sign in with the same account and see whether you're facing the issue if not at the very moment you sign in back into your pc as well and then you try a game see if that helps last but not the least you have to change your dns server for this you know right click on this network over here and open network and internet settings go to change adapter options and choose whichever connection you're having right click on this one go to properties and over here i have to choose internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ip4 go to properties and if you choose use the following dns server address and the dns server you have to put is 8888844 so this is the Google public DNS server, but there is an alternative one, which is a bit more stable, which you have to type as 1111 and 1001. So this is a Cloudflare DNS server, which is a bit more stable one. You can choose either of them and see which one fixes a problem. So that was a video quite plain and simple. If it helped you, please don't forget to like button. Consider subscribing the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.